What is the main cause of cholesteatoma? Identifying the main cause of cholesteatoma isn't straightforward. Because various factors that cause negative pressure in the middle ear can contribute to its development. Let's explore these factors. Frequent nose infections. These infections can block the eustachian tube, which equalizes pressure in the middle ear. When this tube is blocked, negative pressure is created in the middle ear. Causing the eardrum to retract into the middle ear and potentially leading to cholesteatoma. Mucosal folds in the middle ear. Some individuals are born with mucosal folds in the middle ear. These folds can restrict airflow or ventilation, creating negative pressure. Setting the stage for cholesteatoma development. Blockage of Isthmus anticus and Isthmus posticus. The Isthmus anticus and Isthmus posticus are narrow pathways facilitating ventilation and drainage in the middle ear. When these pathways are blocked, normal ventilation is disrupted, leading to negative pressure and the risk of cholesteatoma. Allergies. Allergic reactions can block the eustachian tube, contributing to the buildup of negative pressure in the middle ear, leading to the development of cholesteatoma. Chronic sinusitis. Chronic sinusitis, especially when fluids become thick, can block the eustachian tube, cutting off ventilation in the middle ear. This persistent blockage can lead to cholesteatoma. Enlarged adenoids or extra growths in the nasopharynx. Enlarged adenoids or extra growth in the nasopharynx can obstruct the eustachian tube. This obstruction restricts airflow, causing negative pressure in the middle ear, which can result in cholesteatoma. Understanding these causes can help in the early identification and management of cholesteatoma. To know more about cholesteatoma, please check out the article. Link in the description. Stay healthy. Stay happy.